Captain Rhodes, full spectrum scan of the anomaly is complete. All right, Hera. Push the results to the hollow table in the EVA staging area. Acknowledged. Come on, Jack. Let's go have a look at the results. Maybe we'll learn something useful about this anomaly of ours. That does seem likely, considering we currently know nothing at all. Hmm, suppose I can't argue with that. Hera, status report. Status, green. All systems nominal. Well, that's good news. But what about our anomaly? Where is it? Hera, display the anomaly's current location. Acknowledged. Ah, there we go. Wait, hang on. Hera, is this image to scale? Affirmative. So the anomaly has increased in size. Not a good sign. Let's get a closer look. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Curious. I can't make head nor tail out of any of this data. What about you? The data appears to have been corrupted somehow. It's the same for all the readings. Spectrometer, interferometer, LIDAR, all rubbish. Interference from the anomaly must be disrupting the transmission signal. So, our sensor network is useless. What now? You are still the captain of this facility. I defer to your judgment. I was afraid you were going to say that. All right, if we don't get a handle on that anomaly, we're going to be in serious trouble. Agreed. I don't want to do this, but... I, I think I have to send you out to investigate the anomaly up close. Good idea. If I use my scanner to examine the anomaly, I'll be able to analyze the data in real time. I'm sorry, Jack. You know I wouldn't ask you to do this unless I couldn't see any other way around it. I appreciate your concern, but there really is no other option. We need to determine the nature of this anomaly. And I suggest we do so quickly. Okay. Okay, well... No sense wasting any more time, then. Let's get you into the airlock, sharpish. Caution. Airlock opening. If you're going out there, you'll need an EVA rig. There should be some inside the airlock. Just take one off the rack. EVA rig secured. Initializing advanced movement systems. Stand by for calibration. You need to grab an EVA rig off the wall, Jack. Module M, 201. Primary boosters. Your EVA pack allows you to boost forward in the direction you are looking. When you are ready, please exit the activation pod and use your EVA boost to reach the console ahead. Well done. Please press the hollow button to continue. Now boost to the end of the hall before the walls are on. Multiple boost. Excellent. Module M116. Breaking thrusters. This module will calibrate your braking thrusters, which allow you to stop in place without grabbing any surface. Please exit the activation pod and proceed to the room ahead. There are two target zones in the next room. Please boost into one of the zones and use your braking thrusters to come to a full stop. Success! Now, use your braking thrusters to stop inside target zone A. Calibration module complete. Please stand by. EVA rig fully functional, ready to disembark. Copy. Airlock controls unlocked. Pull down on the handle to close the inner door. Once the inner door is sealed, you're clear to cycle the airlock. Inner bulkhead sealed. Once the airlock is cycled, head outside and make your way to the anomaly. 
get a scan if possible, but don't put yourself at any unnecessary risk. Understood. I'm going back up to the bridge. I can keep a better eye on your status from there. Keep this comm channel open. Maintain constant contact. Copy that. Pressurization complete. Yes. Ready for EVA departure. Be careful out there. Don't worry, Liv. I'm sure it'll be no problem. Isn't that what we always say right before there's a problem? Exiting port side airlock. Copy. There should be a Fury transport dock just outside the airlock. Should take you straight to the anomaly. You'll need to run a diagnostic check before you can take off. Understood. Prep for RCS thruster calibration. Please hold on to the railing for the duration of the test flight. Initiating RCS thruster test. In three, two, one. RCS thruster check complete. Proceeding to primary thruster calibration. Reminder, please hold on to the railing, igniting primary thrusters in three, two, one. Fury transport calibration complete. Liv, the Fury transport is set for flight. Great. Coordinates have already been uploaded to the NAVCON. Just touch the marked location Select on the your destination. map and you'll be on your way. I'll monitor you from the bridge. Good luck. I'm underway. Distance to anomaly, 4,800 meters. Copy that. I have a visual on your transport. 3,500 meters. 2,000 meters. Steady as she goes. Godspeed. Look at that thing. Just incredible. Jack! The Furious malfunction. I have no control. I'm drifting toward the anomaly. Remote link's been severed. I can't reboot the transport. Jack, the fury has completely dropped off my scope. Total loss of signal. It, it's just... it's gone. On approach, I noticed the anomaly was pulling the surrounding debris into its center. You think the anomaly is housing some kind of singularity? That would be consistent with my observations, yes. Yeah. Liv, I'm clear of the radiation. You are right? Still functional. Though I must say my shell isn't exactly in the best condition. <sighs> in that case, I recommend using your arm computer to reboot. It's the quickest way back to the station. And you can start fresh in a new shell. Reboot initiated. I think those disturbances might actually be electromagnetic pulses. You might not be able to scan the anomaly up close, but I think we can reconfigure a geological sensor to do the trick. How so? Well, if we can use it to read fluctuations in the magnetic field, we should be able to get a look inside. There's just one, well, several problems. Go on. Got failures all over the facility. For this plan to work, we'll first need to clear up some problems in the container field, the primary dig site, and the processing line. Send the details to my arm computer. Done. Let me know when you arrive at the sites. Select your destination. Destination, container field. Preparing for thruster ignition. Please hold on.
approaching can take off you. I'm picking up latent radiological activity in that area. Something must have contaminated the cargo. There's no way we'll get a clear read on the anomaly with all that interference. You'll need to find the source of the radiation and jettison it. My scanner should help me track down the culprit. Best guess? I'd say you're looking for levels around 80 or 90 decigrees. If you get into trouble, remember you can use the Fury Module's induction panel to recharge your shields. Radiation absorption at 30 decigrees and climbing. You're getting warmer. Watch yourself. Agitated deuterium ions detected. Deuterium? That's a hydrogen isotope. How'd that end up in one of our helium-3 containers? Unclear. The processing line is configured to scrub any excess hydrogen. Ah, oh, sod it. For now, let's just deal with the contamination. I'll dispatch a fury to remove the irradiated container. Wait, something's wrong. What is it? I... I can't get the fury transport to decouple from the container on the upper rack. I can throw the manual override on the fury's hitch. Stand by. I'll make my way up there now. Approaching Fury Transport. Careful. Once you decouple the transport's hitch, the autopilot's likely to kick in. So either get clear or find something to hold on to. Fury hitch released. Autopilot's taking over. So far, so good. The container was breached. The contamination is spreading. Well, that certainly didn't go as planned. Okay, I've got an idea. If I release the container's maglocks, the Fury should just carry it away. Or it would if the controls were actually responding. You know what? Screw it. Just cut the power. Maybe that'll do it. Considering the damage, are you sure that's wise? Wise? Definitely not. But will it work? Only one way to find out. Do I need to mention this is a gross violation of protocol? It's either this or risk contaminating the entire shipment. Sometimes you just have to improvise. Yeah! Holy sh... What the hell just happened? Explosive decompression. The escaping gas caused the container to jettison itself. Okay, so not exactly what we were aiming for, but... Well, I suppose that takes care of our radiation problem. Good work. The sensor should be able to scan the anomaly free of interference. Okay, good start. We still need to find out what happened at the primary dig site and on the processing line. Let me know when you find out more. Hold on. Something's wrong with that fury transport. The one that collided with the container. What's wrong with it? I'm really not sure. It's moving erratically, veering wildly off its flight path. Could be a problem with the fury's flight dynamics. Probably just need to reset the navcom. If you get a chance, would you mind looking into it? Copy that. And I'm not sure, but I think we might need to resynchronize the container field's inventory control system. Are these issues urgent? Neither one's going to keep us from scanning the anomaly. Consider them both secondary priorities. <laughs> nice. Good work, Jack. What is it? Nothing. <laughs> I'm sorry, it was just... It was like watching some sort of weird robot rodeo. Cowboy Jack ropes himself a fury. <laughs> Do I get a hat? A hat, fancy boots, shiny spurs. We'll fix you right up. Till then, you can just leave the fury where it is. I'll have Hera run some diagnostics on it before I can reconnect the remote link. Copy that. I'm moving on. Happy trails, partner. Liv, you were right. The inventory control system is out of sync. Probably got knocked off cycle by one of those pulses. In order to resynchronize the inventory system, you'll have to quickly scan each of the three I.O. ports in the container field. Hera, mark the location of each I.O. port on my HUD. Once you scan the first I.O. port, you'll have roughly 70 seconds to scan the other two. If you don't make it, the system will reset and you'll have to start again. That's one. Clock is running. 70 seconds. Thank you. 
50 seconds remaining. One more to go. seconds remaining success inventory control station synchronized that was impressive that was much harder than I was expecting well nobody's perfect still well done Select your destination. Destination, primary dig site. Preparing for thruster ignition. Please hold on. I'm still trying to work out just how the hell we wound up with a container full of concentrated deuterium. I'm not certain. Deuterium is a byproduct of helium-3 atomic decay. But helium-3 is a stable isotope. It would take centuries for it to decay. Approaching primary dig site. Any sign of activity? The whole site's gone dark and we need the comms array there to boost the data buffer from our sensor sweep. All systems appear offline. Emergency lighting only. Damn. Well, clearly something went wrong here. Leave it to me. I'll find the cause. Sorry, Jack. I hate that I'm asking so much of you today. I'll help you from here as best I can. Anyway, better get to it. Let me know what you find. Warning. Hazardous levels of radiation detected. Right on cue. I'll try to get the site's radiation dampener online. Good idea. Make sure to check its backup power supply. It may have a dead battery. Battery removed. It's definitely depleted. Well, that explains that. Your Fury transport should have a spare you can replace it with. Power restored. I should be able to turn the dampener on now. Dampener online. Geiger readings nominal. Nice job. That should buy you some time. If the dampener goes down again, you can recharge the battery back at the Fury. Based on the radiation, I bet that generator has a damaged core. Look for a maintenance panel that you can cut open. Maintenance panel removed. How's it look? The Security main reactor appears to be intact, but the fuel rod is partially melted. Damn it. Better jettison it then. It may be good to scan it first, though. The data could prove useful. The damage to this fuel rod is extensive, but I can't determine the cause. Severe thermal damage detected. Main fuel supply depleted. Depleted? Helium fusion rods can last a century. How could it discharge that much energy so quickly without exploding? Well, if you have a moment, could you scan those labor units too? The data could help me figure out what happened. Broad spectrum lattice displacement. These labor units have suffered catastrophic radiation damage. And all without setting off a radiation alarm or abandoning the site. It must have been sudden. That settles it. Let's get rid of the fuel rod. It's too dangerous to keep around. Second security brace released. Manual ejection sequence online.
Fuel rod jettisoned. Generator systems offline. Radiation dissipating. That core seems to have been the only source. Good work. Now, just get the generator a new fuel rod and re-engage the locking mechanisms. There should be a spare in the site's core enclosure. New core acquired. Returning to the generator. New fuel element accepted. Please re-engage safety protocols. Control rods engaged. Fusion reaction initiated. Please initiate a manual reboot. Connection with primary dig site re-established. Excellent. I pulled a few labor units out of mothballs to mount the antenna while you finish the repairs. You'll need to assemble them before you move on. A fury transport should arrive with them shortly. scans is bizarre. This sort of erosion... How could it have happened instantaneously? Could the radiation have corrupted the data? Mm, possibly. But that can't be the only factor. This anomaly isn't just a mass of radiation. There's, there's more to it than that. I'm certain now. Online. Labor units Proceeding online. With, primary with them design. managing the data flow, you'll be free to operate the sensor once we're ready to scan. Are you sure they won't need assistance? Positive. You can't do everything yourself when I'm gone, Jack. A good captain knows how to delegate. Evidently. I heard that. We're almost there. We still need to investigate the processing line. Update me when you arrive. Oh, and Jack, if you have a moment, search the primary dig site for another labor unit. I'm getting a signal from one nearby and we could use the extra set of hands.